one of the amazing things that God is doing uh, through our ministry is the is the construction of of a community facility in Kibera. So it's going to be called Tafakari Center um, in Kibera. So that facility uh, it's it's it has a hospital. It has a, a space for people living with disabilities. It has a, a technical training college for young people within Kibra. They don't have to get out of the slum. Uh, we will have a youth technical college for young people in Kibra. They don't have to get out of Kibra to access a post high school education and technical skills. They'll get it right down there. It, the, the facility will also have a light industry that will create employment for women and the youth within the informal settlements in Kibra. And hopefully we can also get some people from other slums within Nairobi. Um, there's going to be a library for 90 people. Uh, just going to take care for, of, of high school, primary and university education with computers, with the internet so that they can access um, supporting leading materials for their studies. We have part of the money, uh, but then we are still hiring our, 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 our friends to, to help us raise the rest of the money. We feel so much vision and direction from the Holy Spirit that this is, it is time to move from a shack to a life giving space. We've taken a bit of front stand in, in curbing sexual and gender-based violence among families. This is because sexual and gender-based violence, we became rampant during lockdowns. And it seems it has, the effects have, have remained with us. And so that is still ongoing. And, and we, we want the pastors to become champions of communities that are free of sexual and gender-based violence against women and children. God has graced us with, with, with people who are offering the, um, the technical expertise almost for free, and they're experts in that area. And so pastors have been going through periodic trainings on, um, on sexual and gender-based violence training. Uh, the COVID wave is rising again. Please pray with us and pray that families of the staff who work with the Center for Urban Mission, families of the people who we work with um, are spared in this, in this new wave. Uh, in the month of August, we get into a very heated political uh, uh, era or environment because we are doing our national elections. You pray with us so that God gives us peace. God gives us um, wisdom but also God gives us the courage to choose better leaders and whatever the outcome, we pray for peace. We pray for peace and that if there, if there are conflicts, there will be, there will be amicably resolved.